Hey guys, uh, you're gonna have to forgive me. I actually uh, been going through a lot right now, been really busy and stuff, and forgot to do a video. And you guys know how I do. I usually try to install it on video and try to give you, you know, thought by thought what's going on. And <laughs> I already installed the ultra lightweight blowback unit for the TMC 17. I've already played around with it. So I guess we're gonna, what we're gonna do today is just the usual. When I mess up, we'll just do reverse and talk about it. And then I'll talk about the um, Glock magazine base. Okay, so we're just gonna cover the UAC Glock stuff. I've decided to dedicate the, uh, a TM Glock 17 that I have to just UAC, like the uh, the high cap of four, three, and five one I have. This guy's actually right next to me. Okay, because um, there's just releasing a lot of stuff, and I, I'm I've been very happy with the products, so uh, I figured just dedicate a Glock to them because they are releasing more stuff. Um, the only thing I haven't bought is their brand new uh, hammer and sear. But I'm, I was sort of hoping it'd be a complete set instead of just those two. So I, I'm sort of maybe, I, I guess I'm waiting to see if they release any more. But other than that, this gun is stock TM ex with the exception of the grip, the trigger bar, and the uh, slide release right here. This is gun modify, garter, and garter trigger bar. Um, other than that, it's stock. And you can see we have the blowback unit here. Let's take it out. We'll talk about it. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have an uh, AIP blow up, uh, blowback unit or AKA near me, so you guys are just gonna have to take my word. Um, I've already done videos on them, so you can go check those out. But I can tell you right now, <clears throat> with the exception of, uh, I know Garter just released their lightweight blowback unit for the Glock, but uh, you know, well, I'm not trying to be snooty or anything, but it's Garter. I doubt it's gonna be. Oh, what the heck? Uh, well, maybe I should keep my mouth shut because I always I have that rule that I have. Don't talk about anything I don't know. So maybe it could be good, but I can tell you one thing: I don't plan on buying it. So sorry, guys. I'm not going to be reviewing that. Uh, but anyways, with the exception of that, this blowback unit is the lightest on the market right now. Besides any like uh, polymer based one, because those are just going to be ridiculously light. This is polymer based. But anyways, here it is. And then for mine, I paired up the um, Airsoft Surgeon one. Although it could be a little tighter. I'm gonna just go one step up. But here it is. Okay. They have extreme cuts on them. Who, whoever's designing for them or doing all the solid work stuff and the manufacturer, they are moving fast and they don't waste time. That's what I like about them, that's for sure. I have the 226 and I actually haven't installed that so I will do that next okay so sorry about the videos but you know this is just to help out people or for fun alright and this is the airsoft surgeon piston I'll show you guys how light this guy is really really light definitely one of the lightest ones now okay I think you guys can see that 18.6 grams uh, this is extremely light here is uh, gun modified. This was near, so I could help out with this. This is a airsoft surgeon piston again. We have a uh, 24.3 grams, and here's the big whopper. This is like what I always try to when people ask to buy stuff for me. This is what I always do. I always show them this, then I show them a lightweight because you can see how heavy these TM are. Okay, 49.7 grams. So you are cutting off a lot of, a lot of. It's a big weight reduction. But the thing is, honestly, you don't. You guys don't have to upgrade to these. That's one thing I always. Uh, people get confused. There's sure you're gonna get your slides can be faster and your recoil is gonna be you know less or whatever. But that doesn't mean if you want recoil, um, stick with the heavier ones. The heavier ones help you. The heavier ones get you more recoil and you know felt recoil that kind of stuff. So um, just. You know, I would say if you're trying to get like a fast slide, fast cycle, trying to save some gas, of course the lightweight's nice. All right, so don't, when I say these are heavy, that doesn't mean they're crappy. That's, uh, don't get confused with that, all right? Uh, what are we going to do? Oh, I'll demonstrate it for you. Um, the only thing that is, uh, it's not the only thing that Gun Modify has over everybody is the, the fact that you can switch these plates. That's what's so cool about 
uh, gun modifier. I would definitely say they're the coolest uh, blowback unit. But this is the new lightest uh, blowback unit on the market, hands down. And uh, this guy is still alive. Don't forget to super glue this screw in, okay? If you don't do it, you will run into problems. You're going to strip it and break the threads. All right. You can see that I still have room for one more step up. It's it it's in there. It's a very nice seal, and this statue the stock uh, stock uh, O-ring with the airsoft surgeon because you can you can see when I push it, it barely goes in. One step up, maybe, and it'd be nice, nice and tight, and that's what she said. <laughs> All right, um, let's put it back together and I'll do some dry firing and um, I have 25s next to me actually BBs so I'll shoot with that for you guys. Um, it is cold in the garage and this gun is still stuck so it should be, I actually haven't chromed it so I'll figure out right now if we lost any FPS but it should be low, shouldn't be that high actually. Put it the wrong way. Now that's one thing that's a little confusing about these sites. You have to look at here. There we go. Okay. Um, and then I'll talk about about the base plate. Although, being honest, I think the uh, the Ready Fighter one's the best because they actually provides like actual benefit besides you know weighing down the mag to draw faster but yeah I think the ready fighter he takes the cake I'm actually surprised that um, UAC didn't go out that route I actually would have thought they would have done that route but other than that I can't complain it, it looks cool I'll show you it but um first let's get a chrono and oh one more thing this screen is stiff Alright, it's actually a really stiff sprint. You can see from this action when I rack it. But I mean, this slide is very, very light. This is still plastic, and these aluminum sides help keep the weight down. If they were steel, that would add a lot of weight to it. Overall, you know, weight of the slide is 140. Okay, so it's actually really. Okay. What are we doing? There we go. It's not, it's, it's very, very easy. Anyways, um, this dry fire, it's pretty cold in here. We have a Wii mag here. a couple shots in here and we'll see how much the FPS difference is actually. Stock TM Glock size they shoot about like 280 to 300 and around there. It's not they don't shoot very high. And the problem is getting them to shoot hot it's pretty hard because I mean you can do the uh, inner barrel and bucking that's gonna get you the fastest route but clocks are just another whole ball game. Let's change it. We're going to change it to two fives. I'm actually out of 20s, so sorry about that, guys, but I'm using what I have. Uh, let's change the, the 50 because I don't have any 50s. Okay, we are at two fives. We're going to change the cow to six. Okay, we're at 625, let's try it out, and here's my uh, ghetto shooting station, it's in front of me. <laughs> you know, I still haven't made a, uh, like a small one, I actually finally made a big one, but I haven't made an actual small one that I can put on the table, and that, I got a lot of things going on. Alright, anyway, let's try it out, 272. 
271, 265, 271, 271, 270. Okay, we're out. Um, that's I'm okay with that. Cause I know this gun is stock. It's stock pretty much. Um, anything? Let's just do dry fire for you guys. Let's make sure it's empty. Okay. Now just watch the recoil, cause that's I mean that's the biggest thing you're gonna see right now. It's very light and it's snappy. Now, see, that was, those were not fully cycling. That's, that's when you get that, when you're basically out of gas. Or, it could be light striking, but this guy is working pretty solid with right now. Stock. Um, let me show you the mag plate. Here's the mag plate. It's uh, pretty straightforward. It works on both TM and Wii. Um, the nice thing I can say about it is the wobble is pretty minimal. But if, I mean, if Wobble bothers you, what you guys can do is you can add shims yourself and that will fix it. But it's a lot, it's, um, the Ready Fighter ones, they wobble a lot, that's for sure. But the only thing I will say is they, you know, that fill port's here and it gives you extra BBs and you get a little more gas capacity. But these are definitely um, cool. I'll show you what they look like on non-Magwell. Okay. And here's what it looks like with a Magwell. I think I have... When you're, oh, excuse me. This is um, sailing in arms. This is a real one. As for Magwell guys, I think Magwells are really based on what you guys like personally. I'm uh, just gonna work on here. No, I'm gonna have to do some work to get that down there. This one doesn't have a mag release, but we'll just do this one for a demo. Uh, this is what it, this is. This is oh that copy bait. Here's what it looks like on here. But you can see what happens on certain magwells. Watch this pin right here. See how it pushes it out. This one would need fitment in that area where this hits. So it's actually hitting the magwell. So that's that will be I, that's the only thing I gotta say if you if you're using magwell with these type of max you do have to do modifications I had to do modifications on my um, my Chris Costa one to get the ready fighter ones to work so uh, be prepared to do fitment if you have magwells okay so you see you guys see this pin is sticking right here so if you have any type of magwell that's a little thick around here you're just gonna have to get a dremel and dremel that magwell in this angle like this and you'll be able to get to work um, but other than that uh, sorry for the reverse review but um, I can tell you I have no problem with it, it was a drop in you guys pretty saw pretty much this is a stock TM pistol besides the grip uh, trigger bar slide release and other than that it's going to be I'm going to be continuing to buy anything UAC Glock and putting it on this guy because um, they're definitely releasing a lot of Glock stuff so big props to UAC once again. Uh, just go check out their Facebook, and you guys can buy it and buy it overseas. You can literally buy these at any uh, overseas retailers now. So um, that's the reverse one. And besides the guard one, because I don't I, I don't know anything about it, so I can't speak on that. This is the lightest blowback unit on the market in aluminum. Okay, definitely hands down. I'll see you guys around. Take it easy.